Good evening, everyone. Right now on Wildberry, it's 7.25 p.m. on Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. Which, yes, I know, is actually last night, guys. But I have been very busy wrestling with llamas and preparing for jaguars in our Planet Zoo adventures. So you'll have to apologize, or you'll have to forgive me. And I apologize because we have been so busy with our pixel biology adventures. And I am so glad that showing up every day on Wildberry is beginning to give me the imagination, the energy, the strength, the enthusiasm to be able to return to so many more of our pixel biology adventures. So with all of that said, it is last night, but don't worry, you'll be seeing hopefully Isabel again for a double daily later today because tonight Biddy and maybe even Annalisa are moving in and tomorrow we'll be able to see what their cute houses look like. <clears throat> anyway, let's carry on with tonight's adventures. Now for today's announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big wildberry welcome to Biddy. It makes me so happy to have a new friend on the island. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. I hope the entire island joins me in giving our guest a warm welcome. There's so many people coming to Wildberry. And that's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so because it is pretty late for me tonight and because we will hopefully have a double daily coming up that will... Re oh, look at all the cherry blossoms. Oh yay, my phone's ringing. Oh, and I have a message. Yay! Alright, so we got a little bit more bells. So, oh, and look at all of the cherry blossoms blowing in the wind! That's gonna make figuring out which ones I actually need to catch a little trickier. But they're so pretty! Oh my gosh! I love it, I love it, I love it! And look at all of our hybrid plants! I was so tired when we got these hybrid plants last night. Or a couple nights ago now for you guys. Oh, this is so exciting to see they're all here. Oh, wow! Yay! We have so many hybrid flowers! Oh man, I really wish we had a good rainy day to be able to water them. But alright guys, today we're actually going to have a pretty easy, relaxing night where we're going to focus on greeting all of the villagers, visiting with whoever is at the campsite, going ahead and greeting our uh, friends on the island, like the adorable Ursula who is currently hanging out behind our house. That's so cute. And then I was thinking we might even try doing a speed build really quickly of the interior of my wonderful Wildberry Wildlife Research Center. So with all of that said, I guess we'll go ahead and just wear our nice outfit. Oh, we should set up an area inside where we actually have like our little, our little outfits that we put on for the different adventures. And since tonight we're going to focus on selling a bunch of the exotic fruit that I collected from the islands we visited last night. And by the way, I kept visiting islands to bring bugs to Flick, but unfortunately I didn't really find a lot of bugs. So we do have quite a bit more money, but it wasn't enough money to pay off the Wildberry Wildlife Research Center last night. However, with this wonderful fruit harvest, it just might get there. So we'll see what happens. Let's check the mail in the visit with Ursula. <gasps> Ursula sent us a letter! So Siri, things haven't been too rosy for me lately, but you don't see me moping over it. That's because I'm thankful even for the bad times. You take all that stuff and use it for fertilizer, then see what blooms. Wise old Ursula. <gasps> and now she's just singing behind our house? Ursula, you're so sweet! Oh my gosh! Alright, and then Nook has set up something. Uh, Dear Siri, a new resident moved into the plot you set up. As a small token of our appreciation, we put 1,000 Nook Miles into your account. We hope you spend them on something that makes you happy. Aw, thank you! We also got KK Country. And then we have something from Flick! Siri, patron of the arts. Behold! My piece inspired by the Orchid Mantis is at last finished. I worked tirelessly to capture its likeness for you and hope you enjoy it. May it bring bugs even further into your heart. <gasps> That's gonna be so cool! I can't see what Flick made us! Also, I see a, a cherry blossom that we can actually catch over here. Oh my gosh, and Ursula has been having a hard time! Like, do you guys remember when I mentioned that? I felt like she seemed really down and sad, and she was always kind of glancing from side to side. She really was sad! Look at her now, though! She's so happy! Let's talk to her. 
She's singing the Aloha KK that I have playing at the beach. Oh, that makes my little half Hawaiian heart so happy. Ursula, how are you feeling today? What's up, Groom? Lay it on me. I get so hyped when the cherry blossoms start falling, which kind of spoils the zen of it, honestly. <gasps> we should make her a cherry blossom item! Okay, we def- Oh my gosh, Sky is hiding right here. Sky is hiding right over here and listening to the singing. I love our villagers. Good evening to you. Isn't it a nice night out, Airmail? Sometimes nighttime can feel lonely, so I'm glad I ran into you. I almost have tears in my eyes of how ridiculously sweet our villagers are. Alright, I can hear a balloon. <gasps> There's an Alice moth! Just out in the open like this. Oh, we got it! This is another one I want to save so that Flick will hopefully be able to get us some really cool balloon- or some really cool models with that okay that's just a sky or that's an egg bloom so we can ignore it but all right so yeah tonight guys we'll go ahead we're just going to have a really easy night since it's already pretty late for me and because i do hope to have a double daily shortly that we will be able to celebrate whatever adventures we're getting up to in wildberry let's go ahead and catch this moth don't mind if i do nice and I figure, you know, not every day needs to be about some big, big project that we have. And since we have enough people to, to meet and greet, that'll keep us occupied with enough things that tonight will just be a village night, which I really love. So Ursula has been having a hard time and I want her to be super happy and enjoy cherry blossom season. So I'm thinking what we might try doing is maybe making another cherry blossom picnic area or two because oh woo! okay we're gonna have to follow that balloon until it's not over the river anymore because that might be another cherry blossom recipe perfect timing i wonder what we should make her let's take a look at the seasonal recipes and see what we have learned oh that's right i learned the cherry blossom bonsai last night you guys so the cherry blossom recipes we have so far are the petal pile, the bonsai, hello, we definitely have to work on that, the cherry blossom branches, the outdoor picnic set, the cherry blossom clock, the cherry blossom flooring, and the cherry blossom umbrella. Let's go ahead and make Ursula a beautiful bonsai with hardwood, clumps of weeds, and clay. I want to collect those things up and share them with her. And let's shoot this down. Okay, quickly before it reaches my big giant pile of eggs and gets lost. All right, fingers crossed. Okay, it's iron nuggets. Not what we were looking for, but we'll go for it. Also, here's our present, <gasps> the orchid mantis model. Okay, we will we will definitely look at that in a little bit. Oh, oh hey, what's up Cranston? Hi Siri, I heard a really cool rumor about you, Sweatbrand. You're gonna make Wildberry famous, so KK will perform here, yeah? I used to sing, think KK was singing just to me when I wanted, but then I figured out her recordings really worked. That's really cute. I really want to see him in person. I'll be cheering for you. Man, I've got an idea. Since a concert's gonna happen, let's have a place where folks can take a break. It'll be like this. Ooh, I'm tuckered out from all that concerting. I sure could use a, a drink of juice and eat a snack and rest my feet. Anytime juice and snacks and KK are all happening at, in, at one place, in the same place, I'll be a happy ostrich. You're a crested ibis though, Cranston. Oh, I know. Here, take this. This retro gas pump is perfect for rest spot decoration. Thank you, Cranston. I don't think we're going to be keeping the retro gas pump as a decorative item. However, not tonight, since tonight's just a villager meet and greet night. But in the near future... Oh, and she's still singing over there! I love it! But in the near future, I do actually want to go ahead and set up that flower market over here! <gasps> Look at Sky! She's humming and singing to herself. That's so cute. I've never seen them just skip around to dancing to themselves. 
I was proud of this outfit before Ursula raved about it. Ursula complimented her outfit. This is the best night. Isn't this just the sweetest way for you guys to be able to wake up too? Just seeing all of our Wildberry residents so polite and happy with one another? What's on your mind, Airmail? Is it just me, or is everything you try breaking late to use breaking lately? Now my bug catching net is starting to fray. Guess I should probably DIY a new one for myself soon, Airmail. Oh, maybe we should make her one. We could try that out. Man, I love talking to the villagers and just seeing like what they're up to, what they need. Let's catch this cherry blossom, don't mind if I do. And let's make Ursula the first gift of the night because she's just way too precious. All right, and I'm, oh, oh no, now my net broke. Well, there's a little bit of irony. All right, so now we need to make a new net. And to make the cherry blossom, we're going to need a little bit of supplies. Let's just go inside and pluck some of the supplies from storage. It'd be fun to collect them from the wilds right now, but we do have a lot to do. And I know I said I was going to do a speed build of our room, but I think that's going to have to wait since our villagers are keeping us on our toes with plenty of things that they want us to do tonight. Let's see, let's grab that hardwood. Let's make a lot of the villagers some... Well, I want to be careful not to, to make too many cherry blossom DIYs because we do need the cherry blossoms, but at least a few as gifts for our friends would be nice. Also, let's go ahead and see what the orchid mantis model looks like. Here we go. Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool, you guys! What the heck? Look at that! Oh my gosh, I love him! I love it! Yes, Flick, you are so awesome! Okay, this is really cool. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. We're gonna have to pick some other cool bugs to be able to get these models of, and then we can put the models up on the wall. When will we get this place looking like the research center it should be? Holy cow, that's gonna be so exciting. Nice. Let's make sure never to show that to Blathers. I think, I don't think he'd like it. <laughs> All right, do we have everything we need now in order to craft this? Now we just need to go pick up some of the petals that we have been collecting. And thankfully, I have a ton of them right over here. All right, we'll collect these. <gasps> Another Atlas Moth! Where were you last night? Okay, stay there, Atlas Moth. My net broke. All right, come on. We need a new net and we need to catch that Atlas Moth. Because he's going to help us to create an even better Wildberry Wildlife Research Center. Come on, tree. There we go. You know, I used to think that we'd be pretty well set every day just working on our own little projects on the island, not really having to worry about being too busy. But instead, as the island has grown and we have started to, like, make friends, I mean, I really care about what happens to our villagers. I really am so excited to make Ursula this cherry blossom bonsai. Let's go ahead and craft this. And, you know what? We should make Sky a new net. Let's make her a new blue net. We'll customize it so that it'll be nice and blue. Because I think blue is her favorite color. All right. Is that... Yeah, the Alice Moth is still here. And... We got him! Look at how cool he is, you guys. Sweet. All right. So now let's go ahead. We'll grab this. And while we're at it, let's see if we can shake ourselves down enough branches. Hmm... There we go. One branch, two branch. That we can hopefully make a net for Sky. Oh, one more branch, one more branch. Yay, all right, good job, Cherry Blossom Tree. Also, I'm really excited to make more of these wood egg lamps, you guys, because I, I realized if we ever do some sort of cool dino dig area, especially if we do end up using a section next to the zoo as like a zoo exhibit area, 
then those would make perfect dino eggs, wouldn't they? All right, let's go ahead and craft. We'll craft ourselves another net for our good friend Sky. And I wonder, oh, maybe we should craft one of the picnic sets for Cranston, because it would be big enough that he would have enough food to share with all of his bug friends, which would be perfect. So I think we will actually go ahead and craft up now. The bonsai, the beautiful Sakura bonsai, the cherry blossom bonsai. Look at how pretty this is. Let's make one for our friend, Ursula. The very first one. And then we're gonna go ahead and make another one for, oh, I need a few more petals. We're gonna go ahead and make a picnic for our good friend Cranston. And I think I hear a balloon. Let's just check really quickly. That's a fast, oh yeah, that's a sky egg balloon. You can always tell when they're like rushing past you overhead. And then we might actually check in on the shopping to see what is for sale over in the Able Sisters place because I do need to say hello to Sable. I've been forgetting to do that every day. And you do want to go ahead and greet Sable every day even if she... I, I feel like it's bullying because if it was me, I wouldn't want some stranger just coming up to me all the time and being like, hey, what you up to? If I clearly told them to please like leave me alone. However, you can actually hopefully build up a friendship with Sable and learn a little bit more about her from that. All right, let's go ahead and make a picnic to give to Cranston. Nice. And last thing we need to do is customize. Did I pick up the customizations? I did. Customize the net and then we will go find Ursula and we have to greet Biddy. I do not want to just discount the fact that Biddy is brand new. We'll see what her house looks like, and maybe we'll be able to craft her something really nice that she would enjoy too. There we go, a nice blue nut. There, perfect. I'm sure Sky will love it. Perfect. I love this. It's fun to work on our big projects sometimes, but it's also just really fun to be able to be kind to your friends. All right, we're gonna wait for this balloon. <laughs> Cause again, it might be a precious cherry blossom recipe. We'll grab a couple of the eggs while we wait. Perfect for future dinosaur eggs. But speaking of being nice to our friends, thank you guys so much for being so understanding about how the last few months have been really rough for me and for joining me on just finding a new home that's really happy. Oh, yay, it's money at least, I guess. But finding a new home here in Wildberry that's just really happy and every day we're able to show up and every day we're able to just be kind to the villagers, build up a better relationship with them and do just a little bit more to make the island even more like home and even more special and totally unique and silly and like everything that we want it to be because it has given me a lot of strength to be able to look around in my own life and realize you know what we can make things better so thank you guys so much for being here and for letting me know that our adventures in wildberry have been helping you guys too it truly has gotten me through some of the roughest patches in recent memory and we're gonna carry on and keep going from here <gasps> oh no what happened <gasps> What happened, you two? I thought I was being considerate. Ugh. I guess it's true that how you say something really matters. I feel like I was doing my best, but I guess I can't let this go. Sky! Ursula! Come back for more, huh? It must be my winning personality, Groom. Ursula, what happened? I gotta say, whatever genius made it easier to climb up that cliff deserves a medal or something. The view up there seriously rocks, too. I'm gonna go up there and watch the sunset at every sunset I can, Groomph. Ursula, what happened with Sky? Well, Groomph, someone's feeling chatty. Um, well, Ursula, this is for you. We'll have to see. Maybe we can perk Sky up. Okay, she's feeling better, but I think that they accidentally said something to each other. Cherry Blossom Bonsai, Ursula? 
Whoa, 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 a cherry blossom bonsai? Wow, thanks, Siri. So cool. I'm gonna need to clean up a little before I show this off. It'll look so, so rad, Groom. Well, one good deed deserves another. Have a glass holder with candle. Oh, thank you, Ursula. The other- okay, and now she's gonna talk about the eggs, which is fine. But I'm so glad that we realized that Ursula was actually feeling down. Oh, and now, Sky, are you feeling better? Sorry for not getting up. I'm really comfortable here. Okay, we'll give Sky her gift in a little while. And while we're over here, I might as well go ahead and dig this up. Hello, money. Very nice to see you. You're gonna make all the villagers talk about how- oh, did you see Siri Berry in the bales? The bells, even? There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're hanging out again! <gasps> Are you guys getting along again? <gasps> Look, they're chatting! Everyone's just hanging out together! I love this, except for the fact that you can't, like, see anything that's happening because of this tree in the way. You guys, they're actually getting along again! Oh, I'm so relieved! This is so cute! Like, I, I don't ever recall a time where I could actually see the villagers. And I'm sure it happened in other Animal Crossing adventures and I just don't remember. But I don't remember a time where, like, they would hang out so much together and really build up a relationship together. Alright, let's bury 10,000 bells. There we go. Excellent. And then let's go ahead and actually sell some of the stuff we're carrying so that I have a little room to visit with our other villagers. And I want to go take a peek at what's for sale in the Able Sisters shop in case I want to buy something for Pierce or Puddles. Uh, I still need to make friends, by the way, with Julian. I feel really bad I haven't made friends with him yet because he's been pretty cool. Alright. I would like to sell, guys. You guys might give me enough money to pay off the Wildberry Wildlife Research Center with all of these exotic fruits that I have. Um, I'm gonna keep the two Atlas Moths and sell the ants and the retro gas pump. <laughs> okay, we'll take a look at it first, but I'm, I'm gonna sell that retro gas pump. <laughs> the glass candle with holder is probably gonna be very useful. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and sell that clump of weeds. Okay, never mind. I'll keep the clump of weeds for now. 47,000 bells. Thank you very much, guys. Also, this is really cute. The exit sign. <laughs> Act fast if you're serious. That's 180 bells. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. <laughs> um, I'm gonna think about it for a little while, guys. I know I need to buy tons of things from you so that you'll be able to expand your shop, but every now and then... Yes, I am curious about what's in the cabinet. Okay, they have cute fairy tale umbrellas. That might be a good first gift to give to... Yeah, that might be a good first gift to give to Ur or Not Ursula, pardon me. To give to... Oh, what's the name? Biddy! I knew I would remember it eventually. Olive desert tile, white paint flooring. Oh, a ship deck! That's really cool! I kind of want to give that to Cranston, because that would be fun if he would put a ship deck down in his house. Green delicate wall blooms. Ooh, la la. That might make for a nice greenhouse. Blue paneled wall. You know what? Let's buy the ship deck. Because that sounds kind of amazing. Alright, thank you guys! That might actually make for a really cool... We could give it to Cranston, or it just might... Like, actually buying this bucket might be good to give to Cranston. But we already made him a picnic. Alright, good night, guys! I'll probably be back in to sell some more, more of our fruit in a little bit. Wow, I can't believe so much has happened already. Alright, let's see what we have in the Able Sister shop for the day. If we want to buy any of it for the villagers or for ourselves. I do need to set up a yard sale pretty soon. <gasps> the adventure hat! The oh my gosh, and it is actually a whole, like, a whole Lita set. I can't believe it. Sable, how are you today? Hey, I'm kind of in sewn into my machine right now. Sorry, I can't chat, but, um, thanks for stopping by. That's so nice of her. Okay, I'm gonna leave her alone since she said something to me about stopping by. I don't want to bother her. 
you want to be considerate, you know? Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, what do we have today? Heavy duty shirts. We've got fitness tanks, which are actually really ridiculously cute. I have an orange tank that almost looks exactly like this. Um, we have like Mr. Rogers sweaters. Oh, those are cute. All right, we have little athletic shorts, jogging shorts. Maybe I'll get a whole jogging outfit. Oh my gosh, look! Chitin, oh my gosh, I love that. That's so hilarious. There's also a sleeveless sweater dress. And then we could get a whole ruffled dress. Are you kidding me? <gasps> the Explorer's hat! Finally! Finally, 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 finally! I've wanted the Explorer's hat for so long. I want to get it in both colors. And then we can go ahead and give it to our villagers. Getting the little yellow Explorer's hat might be really fun too. Oh my gosh, look at the headdress that so we could have really... Oh, oh dear. Oh my gosh, the hockey mask is scary. Okay. A monocle? Oh, I have to buy that for chips. You don't understand. He is going to be so happy. Whenever we play Final Fantasy XIV, he has a little Taru Taru who always has a monocle on and big gigantic mustache. Okay, that is, that is too hilarious. I got a crew socks. There's puckered socks. Wow. There's a lot of things to pick from today, you guys. There's Mary Jane's. Every color of rain boot again. Holy cow! Like, where do you even begin? I know, I want the explorer's hat. That absolutely is step number one. I absolutely would like to make this purchase. We won't wear it. Because that's going to be for Jungle Jane. Alright, thank you! And actually, do I want the purple? What do you guys think? I, I like the outfit. The ruffle dress outfit for the idea of doing something for like a special event or especially if we were going to do like a Halloween event of some kind. Um, honestly, and I could see some of like puddles basically wearing some of it, but none of our other villagers really. Huh. Is there anything I would give to any of our villagers right now? What color? I think the red ruffle dress I like the best, but actually... I could see a lot of purposes for the black and white ruffled dress. And for historical things alone, I love this little chitin thing. There's so many options, you guys! And I need the green explorer's hat! Absolutely need the green explorer's hat. Alright, let's grab these and the monocle. We'll see how many things we can stack up before I run out of room. Uh, and we'll get the patterned stockings as well. And then I think the black Mary Janes, even if we end up with the red dress. Yeah, even if we end up with the red dress. All right, and we'll start here because I can buy a whole bunch of things like this. Send it to the house. There we go, straight to storage at the house. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And then we'll go ahead and buy the fancy dress and the headdress. I kind of do want to get like a little jogging outfit because I want to get, I, I've been really sick the last month so I haven't been able to do my working out that I normally like to do. All right, which one do I like better? And maybe that'll encourage me to get back into my workout routine to have like a little jogging thing. Okay, I think the red one because the red one is going to have a little bit more personality. And then speaking of personality, in case Chips doesn't like, I feel like he might like the gold monocle. So I'm going to grab that and maybe the crew socks. Because why not? Those look like little blather socks, don't they? I wouldn't want to have those. Um, and do I want any of the other shoes? Maybe some, like, jogging sneakers? Hmm. Purple. Green. Wow. Wow, I just spent a lot of money. <laughs> and it's on clothes we're not even going to wear yet, but I can't help it. Alright, thank you very much, Mabel. That was, that was too exciting. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> like, I would give Cranston an adventure hat. Pierce, I would give an adventure hat. I would give Pierce an adventure hat. We'll see what he's up to tonight. Also, let's take a quick look around. <gasps> the DIY! Yes! All right. What's in the DIY for today? What a busy night. 
Dear person I don't know, I dreamed I was an ultra super big time master of DIY. Here's the recipe I made in my dream. I could have kept it for just me, but I like sharing fun stuff. Be careful with YDI. That's a joke. Your DI, I guess. Uh, UDI. Uh, let's see. By Marcel, Marcel the Craftmaster. A golden arowana model? Pardon? Like, what? What did we just learn? What is this? It's a golden fish trophy. We need three gold ducats for it. That is amazing. Wow. What a day on Wildberry Island. And I haven't even greeted the new villager yet. And I haven't even gone to see the campsite. All right. Let's see if we can carry on with all of the goals that we have tonight. I need to give Sky her net. Holy moly. This is so exciting to know that just being kind to our villagers every day takes up so much time. Because hopefully now that I am slowly but surely starting to feel better, we will be able to start thinking about streaming at some point in the near future. Right now, we actually have really slow internet here due to everyone being work from home. So trying to do double daily episodes is my way of sort of trying to make up for that. But we'll see how we'll see how things work out. Also, Cranston just went in his house. Let's see what he's up to. This is so fun. DIY the oh oh. Cranston, that inspired me to also have a sip of my tea. Drinking some coffee this late at night, eh? Welcome to my snack castle. Man, I'm so excited for Bunny Day Sweatband. Hey, ever wonder why you find more eggs, wooden eggs hitting on coconut trees than any other kind of tree? Man, they really like to talk about the coconut trees having a lot of wood eggs. Alright, this is for you. What are you giving me? Let's go for... The outdoor picnic set! Ta-da! Is, is this really an outdoor picnic set? Thanks, Siri. I've been wanting something like this for a long time. There are a lot of things like this, but you gave me this thing, so it's extra special, Sweatband. Once I've cleaned up my house, I'll set this out. I can't wait to hear what my all my bugs friend think about it. Thanks, Siri. Here, a switch, just for- Oh my gosh! <laughs> wait, wait! I think he's gonna pull the switcheroo on us, because I don't think this is actually going to be. Thank you, Cranston! <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and see what we, we just unlocked. <gasps> Cranston is our third good friend! We have three real friends, Ursula, Pierce, and Cranston now. I am so happy! <laughs> Thank you, Cranston! Also, I think this is really funny because I don't think he just gave us a Nintendo Switch. Bye, Cranston! I think that he gave us a wall switch. Because I've heard about this. I've been calling it in my head, the great switcheroo. Yep, he gave us a wall switch. Like a light switch that you would put on the wall. Not the switch like the one we have over here that Chips gave me for my birthday. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna go ahead and see what the wall switch looks like really quickly. And then I think I actually want to craft up maybe a couple more cherry blossom related things. Hang on a wall. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Cranston. That's so cute. All right. Do I have anything in storage that I would want to give to, say, puddles? You know, I, I kind of want to give Papa Panda to puddles. I think that would be really nice, actually. Papa Panda was a birthday gift to me, though. Um, so I'm going to keep that. Mom's homemade cake. going to keep that. The nail art set. That is so for Puddles. All right. We'll give Puddles the nail art set. And then let's actually give the succulent plant to Pierce. And I already have something for Sky. And unfortunately, I don't think I can give Julian a gift just yet. And I won't be able to give Biddy a gift just yet. So we'll hold on to everything else. Uh, do I have anything I want to put away really quickly? Succulent plant. We'll go ahead and put in storage cake at country. Uh, place on floor. The ship deck. I like that a ton! I actually think the ship deck might be really fun as kind of like the main room of what we've got going on. 
Can I place this item? All right, let's see what the retro pump looks like since Cranston gave us gave it to us. Oh, it's even green. All right, that's kind of cute. We could reorder it if we were going to do something like a summer special. Like a summer throwback special. And then here's what Ursula gave us. Oh, a nice little candle. That'll be really pretty someday. Just put that somewhere nice. And then we're going to stick these two Atlas moths into storage as well. Because hopefully they will actually end up being a lovely model one day. All right, so what would I want to give to Pierce? That's right, I'm giving him the succulent plant. Okay, so we should have enough gifts for everybody. And we will try to set up more like cherry blossom picnic areas before the 10th. I can't believe that cherry blossom day apparently ends on the 10th. That's like devastatingly short amount of time with these gorgeous blossoms. Oh, Pierce is out. All right, let's try to find the last of our friends for the night. Oh, who's this? Is that Pierce? It's Pierce! I think these scaredy fish are just afraid of my huge bulging muscles, Hawkeye. <laughs> oh, yay, Pierce, I'm so happy to see you. We'll go ahead and tidy up this area until he's done fishing because we are going to need to give him his gift. There we go. And plus, it's nice to have an excuse to kind of come up. Yay! I can't wait to get another incline over here as well. Oh, a fossil! Nice! Maybe tomorrow afternoon, or like for you guys, hopefully it will be later this afternoon. But maybe tomorrow we'll actually go ahead and spend a little bit of time. Gotcha. Bamboo shoot. Who is down there? <gasps> Sahara! Sahara is visiting! Oh my gosh! All right. I think because we're running a little low on on time, especially because I'm waiting for Pierce to finish up his work, and I also need to go greet Biddy and visit with Julian. I feel really bad that I've been I've been a little bit mm, lukewarm in their reception. And as long as Julian wants to be here, and he already was getting along great with our villagers, as long as he wants to be here, that's fine. I think that he was excited about the KK concert. Sahara, I will be back to visit with you later. Trust me. And let's see if Pierce is done. After I gather up these apples. I'm going to sell these apples on Home Island with chips and make tons of money. Oh, now he's sitting down. Oh, now he's taking a Oh, he's up, he's up, quick! Yo, Hawkeye, you seem typed as always. Do you want this? Pierce, good evening! Would you like a succulent plant? A succulent plant? Seriously? You crushed it! I absolutely love this sort of stuff. I can't wait to show this off. I was also looking for an excuse to move my stuff around. Yay! Alright, no gift from him in return. The way you shook those trees the other day was really impressive. Is that how you got such an incredible triceps, Hawkeye? <laughs> Thank you, Pierce. Alright, let's see. We're both using different methods to try to catch the cherry blossom. Mine worked. Alright, so now that we've visited with Pierce, sorry about that, buddy. Let's dash on over. Such a busy day, so much to do. I'm gonna have to pick all of this fruit and speak with Sahara later. But let's see if we can go visit with Puddles and Biddy now, because I think that they are- and Julian! Because they are the last ones of the night. And then we can harvest up that bunch of money I just saw to the left and go visit with our guest at the campsite. <gasps> He's DIYing! He's DIYing! Oh, Siri. Sorry, I was just doing a little DIY. I was in the zone, you know. Julian, your house is actually so amazing. And I think he's here. Be I don't know why he's here. Is he here for the stars? I need to know more about Julian. I don't know what he wants out of life. So until I know these answers, I don't want to see him leave. Glad you asked. Right now I'm making a wonderful and amazing document stack. I got the idea to make it from a crazy dream I had the other night. Jeez, I wonder if he's like actually a prince or something and has a whole bunch of papers he signs and like this is his getaway. Do you want to hear more about it? Either the dream or the document stack? 
Uh-oh, I've already forgotten my dream. But I have the recipe written down right here. You can have it. I can't believe you can learn the recipe for the document stack. Give it a try, Siri. If I can make this, anyone can. Thanks, Julian! <laughs> I- I- that's literally the last thing I expected to learn from him. I was hoping it would be one of these amazing, amazing items. Like, look at this! Look at his room! This is so cool! He's got like a Scorpio lantern right behind us and everything. Alright, let's see. What else do we have? I can't believe I learned how to make a golden fish statue tonight. That is indeed the document stack. And in order to make it, you need to have some scattered papers. I have no idea how to make scattered papers. But I think Julian actually might be like the CEO of some sort of... Oh my gosh, he totally would be the CEO of some sort of big company that sold like astrology things. I can see it now. He's actually really wealthy, aren't you, Julian? Looking for a rap session with Julian, are you? Ah, the magic of bunny day. Soft breezes caressing one's face. Plenty of sweet treats to snack on. Hitting eggs out of coconut trees. That's the nice thing about magic. It doesn't have to make sense. Okay. He continues to be much more complex and multifaceted than I originally thought he would. And continues to impress me. Thank you, Julian. All right, let's go ahead and grab the money over here. Money, money, money. And then we'll dash into Puddle's house. I do actually love having all of the villagers' houses kind of clustered together. Hey, Puddles, how you doing this evening? Hey there, welcome to my humble adobe, Splish. She's wearing her little bunny day crown. So Silver gave me some- Wilbur gave me some super weird intel I promised to keep to myself, but I can't do it. I'm told it's going to explode if I don't tell someone, and that someone is you. And she's gonna tell me about going and finding more eggs out of rocks. Thank you, Puddles. I'm so glad you're excited about Bunny Day. You're just in here dancing and like listening to things with your little crown. Oh my gosh, Siri! The first big event on Wildberry is almost here! Just imagine what it could uh, what it could be. Just imagining what it could be gets me so excited. We're gonna have so much fun, probably. I can't tell if she's talking about the concert that theoretically is going to happen, or if she's talking about like KK. Probably like yeah, KK or Bunny Day or uh, for me it's my wedding that's coming up on this Sunday. Anyway, puddles. Let's go ahead and give you the nail art set. Oh my gosh, is this a nail art set? Thank you, I've had my eye on this for a while. I'm so going to show it off in my house as soon as I figure out where to put it. I feel kind of bad being the only one getting stuff. Here, take a rugby uniform. <laughs> Thanks, Puddles. A rugby uniform, you say? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe I'll give that to Pierce one day. That's probably going to suit him really well. And look, she's displaying the little bubble gum we got her. Oh, that's so cute. All right, well, now that that is done, holy cow, what a busy night. I haven't even managed to, like, turn in the fossils, work on anything other than just visiting all of the villagers. Uh, oh, Biddy's house is cute! Dang, I want to keep this area kind of open to put, like, some sort of special museum thing. Like a museum... Maybe I could actually make like the museum exhibit areas over on this side of the future. Because eventually I want to move my house and like this whole section behind the town square could end up... Maybe I could move the museum there and this could be like the special museum. Uh, like like we, could, we could set up certain exhibits, make a dig site if we were talking about fossils. If for bunny day we could have put out all the different eggs and like had bunny day signs. I have to think about it. Also, I'm gonna have to definitely turn in all these fossils sometime soon. But all right, let's go see what Biddy's up to. Greet her, because she's moving in. And then we'll go to the campsite and see what's going on. <gasps> Biddy! Your house is not what I was expecting. Hello. 
And who might you be? A pleasure to meet you. I just moved here today myself. Call me Biddy. I take it you live on this island? You know, I moved here because it's quite the up-and-coming destination. Well, once I'm done unpacking, I'd love to have you over for a chat. I'm looking forward to it already. Well, welcome, Biddy. Now, should I replace all of my fur old furniture or just 90%? What's the point of a fresh start if you're just going to stick with your stale things? That's what I'd say. There's so much to do when it relocates, but at least the decorating is fun. Okay. We're gonna have to learn more about Biddy. She also is not what I expected. I love that I'm really finding ways to enjoy all of the villagers. She's getting away from some sort of mysterious past, and she wants to start over. Ursula really was actually somewhat depressed, as I was worried about. And Julian, I think, actually runs like a multi-million dollar business, and he basically can live like a self-styled prince and is taking the day off. Visiting, or like taking probably like a sabbatical, visiting Wildberry Island. Alright, fauna, fauna. Oh! I think he's a sporty bird. I don't know who this is. I don't really want to tell him to move here. What do I do? Ah, hello Buzz. Just here to do some camping for a spell. This sure is a nice island. You live here, right? If you have any recommendations for me while I'm here, let me know, Captain. Phew. All right, so we've met him. I could talk to him once. So we have met Buzz. Good to meet him. Very nice. I hope that hopefully in the future, the people at the campsite can like come outside, maybe visit for a little while, maybe. That'd be really cute. Oh, look at all of the cherry blossoms on the lake. That's so pretty. All right. Yeah. Okay, now that all of that is finally done, and I didn't invite Buzz, who I think, I'm going to say he's just here temporarily visiting Pierce. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if we can wrap up the night by popping in to the town center. I wonder if Tom Nook will say something about Biddy having moved in. No, not tonight. We're going to pop over here. Let's see what is for sale really quickly. Just really quickly. I can't help it. I love seeing the randomness. Mr. Flamingo, Mesh Cap, Konnichiwa, Tea, Outdoor Shorts, KK Waltz. Hmm. That could be fun. I want to start hearing more of the KK music, basically. All right. And then let's go ahead and ABD. I have an idea. We're going to go ahead and... Can I pay off the loan? <gasps> I am just a little... I bought too many things! I actually- guys, I bought too much stuff from the Able Sisters shop. We would have had enough if I hadn't bought all of those fancy dresses and clothes. Oh my gosh. Okay, by the end of the night, I will pay that off, and then tomorrow we will actually, or for you guys hopefully later this afternoon, we will actually celebrate the wildlife, wild biology research center expanding again, even though I still haven't decorated the rooms properly. And I still need to go ahead and buy those rugs from Sahara. But, alright. You guys, I'm surprised. I, I don't know how long Biddy and Julian will be here, but you know what? I'm glad that they are here. And I know that Sky and Ursula are becoming friends. Cranston entertaining us with all of his silliness. Pierce always having our back. I just know that they're part of the home here and, and part of the wonders of Wildberry, which hopefully very soon will continue to be able to improve and make look even better. So I'm going to try to gather up enough fruit and frogs and who knows what else, even though there's no frogs in the game, you know what I mean. And who knows what else to pay off the loan tonight. And then in a little bit, hopefully today is a double daily episode, I will be back with you guys. We can see what the expanded wildlife center looks like. And maybe we'll finally get around to doing that speed build of decorating it so at least one of the rooms looks semi-usable. We'll have to see. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you have had a good time, do please leave a like so that we can continue to support Wildberry's growth. If you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.